Coming across my desk today is the new texture powder from Don Juan. This is a new product from this lineup, and I'm actually pretty excited to check it out and present my findings on it today because Don Juan seems to be doing some really cool things as of lately. And today we're going to be diving in and doing the standard five minute review. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give a couple of you the chance to try this product for free. Now, though, you know the drill. Let's hit the timer and dive right in. According to the brand, the new texture powder from Don Juan adds volume and texture to the hair with a strong hold in natural matte finish. They also say it features extra fine powder for ease of application, and they actually scented this powder as well, which is worthy of note. Price-wise, we're looking at $12.99 for 0.7 ounces. Moving over to the scent now, this is listed as a summer breeze scent, and I think it's cool just the fact that they scented the powder. So many powders come unscented, so I think it's great that they chose to do that and actually manage to do it and do it well. Beyond that, the scent is just great. It's a it's a cologne scent, I would put it. I was kind of labeled it as a cologne scent. I think it's a great choice overall, and I was really happy with the fragrance, to be honest. Looking at the powder up close now, though, if you recall, I mentioned they formulated this to be a very fine powder, and that's definitely what we have here. We do have uh, a little density still remaining remaining there from the bentonite clay. You can tell that that's a little bit denser than the other ingredients, but everything else is very fine, which makes it very easy to work with. In the hand, if you just pour it out in your hand, you immediately get a sense of both dryness and even a little tackiness, which is an interesting combination for sure. Moving straight into the demo now, I have a theory that I'm gonna run with on this powder here. I think this will be a multifaceted product. And what I mean by that is I think this powder will serve as both a styler and a dry shampoo. I think it's going to have benefits for both. And to test that and showcase its abilities, I'm actually going to run it through second day hair that's probably in need of washing. You know, this is what you're looking at here. My hair is just a bit oily, so what I'm looking for is the ability to make it bounce back. If it does actually have those dry shampoo attributes that I theorize that it does have. And to test it out, I'm putting the powder right into the roots. I'm targeting my roots to have it wor really work from the root up. And having longer hair does make this a bit of a challenge, but it's not too bad. You just got to make sure you use enough and get it really worked in. And as I do, I can tell you, I feel it immediately changing my hair from slightly oily to almost cleansed. I mean, it doesn't feel like I use shampoo. Of course, any of you that you have used a dry shampoo or a powder like this knows what I'm talking about. I mean, it just feels better. It, it feels like something you can actually work with in other words. And in this case, I will say it has that and a tad bit of dryness there. You know, it's a little bit on the dry side, but it's definitely working as I expected it to. For the washout now, it's pretty straightforward. I think a little shampoo was needed to fully get everything out, but that is just to get rid of that dry feeling that's there from the clays and the arrowroot powder, but that's still an easy washout in my opinion as I'm washing my hair every day anyway. Bringing everything together here on this powder, my verdict with this one is I think it was well designed and well executed overall. There's quite a few things that I like that they did, which involve this actually doing something. I mean, it's amazing how many of these powders try to just pull the wool over our eyes, you know, like they do with sea salt sprays, for example, where they just dry the crap out of your hair and call that texture and call that actually doing something. I'm sure you can all think of one or two that have done that. This one here actually does something. It doesn't just dry out the hair, which that is my only piece of criticism, actually. I did think it made my hair just a tad too dry, but I want to be clear, though, I think there's a big difference between this one and the dryness that I've seen with others. Here, I sensed just a tad bit too much dryness, but in the grand scheme of things, I didn't think that was such a huge deal because it's got a lot of attributes too. So it's like one little thing that I would criticize it on, but it's got a lot over on the other side that I still think is valuable. It's got that nice dry shampoo effect. You got texture, you got volume. I mean, it's all evident here. So for me, the scale is still kind of tipped one way, but I do like to explain everything that I see. You guys know how I do these things. I can also tell that they tried to combat that dryness by adding in the aloe. I do I very much appreciate that and the results that I saw from this powder comparing it to others that I've tried in the past, as I just said. And once again, I think it was well-designed and well-executed. I just 
sensed a hint of dryness in there. The final verdict, as always, though, is up to you. And if you want to try the texture powder from Don Juan, I will leave a link to their shop in the description right next to the link to the Gleam platform, actually, where you can enter to win a bottle of this powder totally free. Don Juan was kind enough to offer one bottle to two different subscribers. It is open worldwide, as always. You just need to be a subscriber and need to follow the link where there's a few ways you can enter to win. I am going to go ahead and stop the clock, though, too, because technically I am done. I just have a, a question to address here. That's not cheating. I'm technically done with the review. I want to answer a good question that I got asked recently. Now that we're doing all of these giveaways, I got asked if subscribers are able to win multiple times and how I'm handling that. And I did give this a lot of thought. I mean, it's bound to happen. I mean, if a lot of you are entering multiple giveaways, the same person might get picked for multiple giveaways because everything's done by random by the Gleam platform. I do want to be fair to every everyone though so i think and, and comment if you have a different idea but i think a fair solution is to say if you win one of the giveaways you are not eligible to win again for two contests uh, that's not two weeks it's not two months it's just two contests and i'll have a list to develop to keep track just to make sure you know we are following that so the same person's not getting picked multiple times i think that's very fair and allows for more people to get a chance to win but either way you just need to make sure you are watching the videos subscribing you have no idea how many times winners have been randomly selected and they are not subscribers and so they don't win i mean it's just it's nuts it's like the first thing and the easiest thing to do but all i can do is remind you guys and i thank those of you who have and i hope to continue to thank you with as many giveaways as i possibly can all right this has gone on long enough that's all i got thank you so much for watching this with me and stopping by the channel take it easy i'll see you next time